I uh, received my education in Tibetan school in Masuri. Uh, Masuri is in fact uh, the first Tibetan school which was set up by His Holiness Dalai Lama immediately after we escaped from, you know, uh, from our country. And from, uh, due to the grace and the help extended by the Indian government and the people uh, and also because of the far-sightedness of uh, the then uh, Prime Minister of India, Pandit Jawala Nehru, uh, he in fact uh, encouraged uh, His Holiness the Dalai Lama to set up a separate school for you know Tibetans. This this is in line in keeping up with our you know aspiration and our hope to return back to Tibet. Otherwise, during that time, uh, India being such a vast country uh, for the Indian government is no problem to send about uh, 20, 30 thousand children to uh, all over, uh, all over, all over the country. Like admitting one child in each school, no, no school will you know reject. But then to have a separate school that was a brilliant idea, and then it is bearing fruit in these days. Education plays a very pivotal role in the preservation of our culture. Uh, it is only through the education that we understand uh, our root. It is only through the education that we uh, explain and we understand, and then we uh, pass on the you know value to the next generation. And then uh, His Holiness has always always been telling the youngsters uh, to have a dual kind of you know education, one in the traditional line, and one uh, he also lays equal importance to the modern. Uh, you know, f modern education, along with the, you know, strong base in your own culture and uh, in your own language. This is uh, the first uh, sort of, you know, uh, refugee uh, institute for uh, Tibetan refugee. It was started in 1960 by, uh, actually by, uh, through the help of His Holiness, he in fact uh, told his elder sister, Mrs. Uh, Tsering Droma Takla, uh, to be the you know caring mother for the institute, and then we started with fifty one uh, uh, children, and today we uh, have over two thousand at this uh, very uh, village. Being a refugee school here in India in the exile, uh, we have some problem because we can't run an independent school uh, independent of the you know the examination board in India. So we have to affiliate our school to one of the either state board or the central board. And then once we affiliate our school to that board, then there are certain requirements, certain you know outline of the courses that we have to follow in letter in, in, in spirit. But then uh, there are some uh, major examinations at the end of class 10, at the end of class 12. And then Unless we sit in these examinations, our children will not be eligible to get uh, admission in higher uh, courses in India. Because majority of our children, once they finish their high school, they uh, join different uh, colleges and universities in India. So because of that requirement, we have to affiliate our school uh, to one of the you know, uh, school board in India. So our school is affiliated to Central Board of sec Secondary Education in New Delhi. Uh, which uh, caters to major major part of the private schools in India. So we have uh, uh, freedom up to class uh, eight. So from uh, pre preschool to class eight, uh, we use that freedom, and then we try to incorporate as much uh, Tibetan matter, as much of our culture as possible. So up to class five is just uh, you know we teach uh, everything through Tibetan. And then from class six onwards, because of the requirement of the you know uh, CBSE board, school board, we had to uh, switch over to English.